How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Franklin Armory BFS-3 binary trigger. If you're not familiar with what a binary trigger is, it's a trigger that fires one shot on the pull of the trigger and it also fires a shot on the release of the trigger. So every time you pull and release the trigger you get two shots, bang, bang. And the first question people ask is, is it legal? Now I'm going to answer that question in just a minute, but first, if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Now are binary triggers legal? The answer to that is yes. As of today, as of the time of this video, binary triggers are still legal according to the ATF because it's still just one shot for one action of the trigger. A rifle with a binary trigger is still semi-automatic, not fully automatic. Now I have installed the Franklin Armory binary trigger into this rifle I have in front of me today. And what it does is give you a third position to your selector switch. You still have your regular safe and semi-automatic position. And it also gives you a third binary position. So no, you don't have to shoot in binary mode all the time. You can still shoot normally with a binary trigger in. Franklin Armory has made it super easy to install. It's not much different than installing a regular mil-spec AR-15 trigger. Now Franklin Armory also makes binary triggers for several other firearms, including 1022s and AKs and everything like that. I will put a link to them in the description below if I can, so you can go check those out. If you don't find it in the description, you can find it over on our Facebook page. Now a binary trigger definitely takes a lot of getting used to, getting used to controlling that rate of fire and the movement of your trigger finger is something new. So it's something you are gonna have to practice to get good at. In a minute, we're gonna take this over to the bench and get a closer look at this trigger. We're gonna weigh the trigger pull and things like that. But first, I'm gonna roll in some shooting footage. You get to see my very first shots with the binary trigger. Now let's go check that out. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get some of that. <laughs> I gotta get some of that. Definitely takes some getting used to. We'll try again. Now this was a lot of fun guys, but I did have a couple issues that I need to let y'all know about. As I was running this trigger, I noticed that after a short string of fire, I would get a light primer strike and I have to manually work the bolt to get that round out before I could start firing again. I don't think that's uncommon. Every rifle is gonna be different. It's gonna handle this a little bit differently, but Franklin Armory's done a really good job of including a lot of extras to help you really tune this and get it working reliably in your rifle. They include two different trigger springs, one lighter and one heavier. The same with the hammer spring. They have a light hammer spring and a little bit heavier hammer spring. And that's what ended up fixing my problem. I swapped in that heavier hammer spring and I didn't have any other issues, no light primer strikes after that. And it ran like a top. They're also gonna include two different buffer springs, one lighter and one heavier. So you can really mix and match the different components that they give you and working together with their customer service. They do a really good job of helping you figure out which combination of those parts will work best in your rifle. All right, guys, this is the Franklin Armory BFS-3 binary trigger. From the outside, looks just like your regular mil spec trigger. They do have a flat face version if you like the flat face type of triggers. Now I'm just gonna show you real quick how this trigger operates. Real quick, the rifle is clear. 
You can see that it does come with an ambidextrous selector switch. You have your regular safe position. On safe, you have nothing. Then on your standard semi-automatic position, there's really not much take up there at all. This is a single stage trigger, not a double stage trigger. So there's really not much take up. There's just a little bit and then the trigger breaks. And then we'll reset it and you can hear that reset. Very short, very audible reset. This is a good feeling, fairly light trigger. I will say it's not quite as smooth as I'd like it. You're not gonna get the same feel out of this that you get out of like your Geisley SSA or anything like that, but it is certainly better than a mil spec trigger. Like I said, just a little bit of take up and then your brake. Now I haven't had a ton of time on this trigger yet, so I'm sure as I break it in, it'll get even better. Of course, you also always have the option of polishing some of the connection points on the trigger if you want to, but I don't think that's necessary. Like I said, it is a very good trigger, certainly better than mil spec. Now let's go ahead and check the weight with our Lyman scale. Two pounds, 6.9 ounces. two pounds, four ounces, two pounds, seven ounces. Now I do have the lighter trigger spring in here, guys. They do send two different trigger springs along with this and they advertise about a four pound trigger pull. So I assume with that heavier trigger spring, you'd get somewhere around a four pound trigger. But in this rifle right now with the lighter trigger spring, I'm getting somewhere around two and a half pounds, which is really good. Now let's reset it and check out that binary mode. Flip over to binary. Now they do send along this little sticker that you can stick behind your safety selector there. That's just a safety precaution so that if anybody else picked up this rifle, they're less likely to accidentally put it into binary mode and hurt themselves. So if you want to use that sticker, that's great. So we are in binary mode. Let's go ahead and pull the trigger. The trigger pull does feel the same in binary as it does in semi-automatic. We'll go ahead and cycle the action and then you hear that? That was the hammer falling a second time. Now hopefully you guys could tell the difference in the sound there between that hammer falling and the sound of the reset on the semi-automatic. But let's just do that again. So on the trigger pull, fire. And then on the release, fire. Now you might ask, what if you pull the trigger and then you decide that you don't want to fire that second shot? You can cancel that second shot simply by holding the trigger back and switching your safety selector back to the semi-automatic position. You did see the trigger move a little bit there, but the hammer did not fall. Now I can release and nothing. So I can safely release the trigger without firing that second shot if I needed to. Let me give you guys a quick look down inside here. And it looks very similar to your regular mil spec trigger, but it does have an additional part here. And I'm gonna point it out to you. It's right here beside the disconnect and it's called an IDS. And you can see that part moves back and forth. What it does is it interfaces with that disconnect in binary mode and it locks the disconnect in a position so that instead of resetting the trigger like it normally would, it allows you to fire that second shot. Now I'm not gonna get too in depth into how that mechanism actually works. Franklin Armory has plenty of videos on how that mechanism works. I just wanted to give you guys a look down inside there so you can see what it looks like. All right guys, that's it for the Franklin Armory BFS3 binary trigger. I hope this video has helped you out guys. Don't forget to check out our links in the description below. And if you haven't done it yet guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and give us a big old thumbs up. That really helps us beat that YouTube algorithm. If you want to help support the channel, you can check out pilotpatriotapparel.com. we got a lot of really cool patriotic and Second Amendment t-shirts. You can also follow us on Patreon and all our social media sites. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.